In this tutorial, we'll be creating a height map that we can later use to create a three-dimensional landscape. So the first thing you need to do is go to File New. We're going to name our height map Island because that's what I'm going to create. I'm going to make it um, 256 by 256. You can make yours whatever you like. It's important that you make the color mode grayscale and I'm going to set mine to 16-bit and the background color is going to start out as being white. So there is my height map. The next thing that I'm going to do is choose the brush tool and change the color to black and also I'm going to select a brush size um, of about 35 and this will allow me to draw the outline of my island. In a height map, the black area represents the lowest points of the map. The white area represents the highest points in the map. So in my example, the black, the lowest areas, will actually represent where the water is going to be. So you can see I'm outlining the island and all the black part is the water. So the next thing I want to do is have a gradual, on the lower part of the island, I'm going to have a gradual climb up from the water and onto the land. So I'm going to start with black and then slowly move up to a darker gray. We'll make that about size 27 so I can kind of go around my, my island and you can see that I'm slowly going to move up. And then choose another shade of gray, a little bit lighter, to move up even higher onto the island. And then even a sh another shade of gray to go up higher. I'm actually going to have this one go right through the middle. like that and then even a little bit higher and so now you can see that it starts from black and gradually moves up to a light gray so that's my the bottom part of my island the upper part of my island I'm gonna do something similar I'm gonna choose a little bit darker gray here and I'm going to leave a white edge around the top. So on the top part of the island it's gonna have cliffs around the edge and then uh, the inside of the cliffs like kinda like the inside of a volcano will be lower. And it's good to use different shades of gray and different size brushes to make it look more realistic. It's a good thing to use the brush tools and the smudge tools to make this look more realistic. So we're going to use the smudge tool first and you'll see that that lets me just kind of move things around and it kind of smudges the colors together and just gives it more of a realistic looking view. So now I've smudged my island and now I'm going to use the blur tool and go over it with maybe a bigger brush and I'm just going to kind of go over the entire island so make sure there's not too much contrast anywhere on the island and that's my height map okay so now we've created our height map and we can go to file let's go save for web and we're just going to save it as a JPEG that'll work and click on save just going to save mine to the desktop. It's called Island and click Save. 